Okay, in this video we're going to look at an example related to finding critical points based on a graph. And the main thing to remember, critical points happen, uh, there's a, a, a couple different conditions that we look for. So we either think about where the derivative equals zero or where the derivative is undefined. And the idea also we have to keep in mind is that these points have to be in the domain of the original function. So here our original graph looks like a nice, smooth, continuous function, so uh, all points would be in the domain. And what I'm going to look at now, so we have kind of a, a few different x-coordinates, you know, negative 6, negative 1, positive 5, I've got 10 listed here. We want to know at which of those x-coordinates, again, do we have a critical point? Well, the derivative is going to equal 0. If you think about the derivative equaling 0, that means the slope of the tangent line has to equal 0. Well, at negative 1, um, it looks like the slope of that tangent line could certainly equal 0. So I would say at x equals negative 1, that's where the derivative equals 0. So in that case, uh, that would be one of my critical points. The other place you have critical points are where the function, there are any, we call them cusps. Anywhere there's kind of any sharp points, so any abrupt changes in direction. So notice here there's kind of a sharp little point on the graph. And that would be a place where the derivative would actually be undefined. So we would say at x equals 5, the derivative is undefined. And those two points, uh, we would say at x equals negative 1 and at x equals 5, those would be the x-coordinates. Uh, those would be the x-coordinates that correspond to points where a function does have a critical point.